Okay, so I've got a leaf box here by EV Tune. Um, I'm going to do an install on my 2013 Nissan Leaf, and then I'll give my initial thoughts on how it works and how it's working for me. Uh, basically, this is a tuning device that intercepts the signal from your throttle pedal uh, to the computer and changes uh, how it basically is mapped so that you can access the uh, neutral full-on coasting mode um, by holding the pedal in a certain position and then outside of that range it operates normally but then you can enter into a glide mode um, so in hilly terrain when you're going up and down a lot it just allows you to go into a full-on neutral um, just much easier so theoretically should increase my efficiency driving around the hills um, so I'm excited to try it out so let's install it all right so inside the box we have the module itself Some zip ties, the wiring harness, it's well made, the warranty card, and a sticker. So we'll go ahead and install it. The only tools that you'll really need is a flashlight because we're going to be working up underneath the dash. Alright, now come underneath the dashboard on the driver's side, locate the gas pedal, electron pedal, excuse me and locate uh, the wiring connector here. Now we're gonna unplug it. Uh, it's tight so I won't be able to film it. Okay, there's the plug unplugged. Okay, so now we'll plug this end into the gas pedal, electron pedal, sorry, and this end into uh, the wiring harness, and this uh, connector will go to the leaf box. All right, now we have the wiring harness plugged in and we're going to root the leaf box somewhere up underneath here and mount it with zip ties. I've removed this panel here so I can have better access up underneath. I've mounted my leaf box there. You want to make sure that you uh, root all the wiring so that it doesn't interfere with your brake or your gas pedal. Uh, you don't want to crash because you installed the mod. Okay, so I've been driving with the leaf box here a little bit today, and I've uh, kind of figured it out. So it does a couple things. The first thing, which is the main reason I bought it, is it does the glide mode. So I'm coming up to this hill here, and basically I just lift off my foot until I'm no longer using any power, and I can just maintain my foot position there. And since we're not using any power, it's basically like um, just shifting into neutral. It's basically just like going into neutral with the shifter. Uh, the difference is that this, you can just access it with your foot. And then as soon as I let off, uh, it goes into regen. So you push in the pedal, uh, maybe an inch or so, a couple centimeters and you'll access into the glide mode. So there's it's in glide, it's not using any power, but at the same time, it's not using any regen. So the point of this is basically so that you can coast down hills, you can coast along straight sections of road without having to shift to neutral. So you can do it more often and gain more benefit because the regen is nice, but it's not actually efficient for getting you down the road. It's just good for re regening in energy that you need to waste, uh, like when you're braking for a red light or something. So now this is just a really gentle, um, really gentle hill, and you can see I'm in glide. I'm not using any power, um, and we're maintaining our speed down this hill uh, pretty easily. So I like that. That's going to become in handy pretty often, basically every day. Living in Colorado, we don't have a piece of straight road that's more than a quarter mile long. Another thing that the leaf box does is it changes the throttle mapping to be more linear. If you'll notice the leaf uh, stock, you can get on the pedal and you'll accelerate at like a steady rate up until about 40 or 45 miles an hour. And then once you're at 40 or 45, 
you'll feel the car de start to accelerate slower, almost like it's decelerating. Um, and it, it just feels like you're hitting like a big headwind or something, but it's just a throttle mapping. And then it does it again when you're at high speed. Uh, once you get like around 70 miles an hour, it'll feel like suddenly you're you're out of power, but basically you just have to push your, your pedal in a little bit further. So what Leafbox does is it gets a, a rid of those S curves um, and makes it so that it's just a linear power. If you put it at 50% throttle, you're getting 50% of the motor's power. If you put it at 10% throttle, you get 10% of the power. 100% throttle, 100% power. So it's just totally linear. Um, it takes a little bit to getting used to. When you first put it on, you notice it, but uh, I think I'm gonna grow to like it. I like it uh, so far. Um, the last thing that it does is it increases the regen that you can have in D mode. Uh, and it only does it when you put your brake on. So uh, while you get full regen, let me shift to B so we get a little bit more regen in B mode and then in D. But if I put the brake on, then I can get full regen again. So just another little efficiency boost. So those, those are the three things that the Leaf Box does. Uh, I'm hoping I can increase my miles per kilowatt hour and uh, basically get more range out of my same battery size. Uh, so I'll probably do another video here in a couple months, uh, see how it's working for me. But thanks for watching.